But I've got a feeling that sometimes, especially in where religion is concerned, if you speak clearly, it sounds threatening. Ah. Uh, and um, because I think people are used to a sort of woolly, vague, uh, indistinct way of talking. And so if you, if you say something clearly and distinctly and truthfully, there are people who will, who will take that as, as threatening. Add to that the effect that everybody is so used to the idea that religion gets a free ride, that even a very mild criticism of religion they get is, the is actually heard mm -hmm. as though it was uh, strong. And, and it's not even, it's not, I'm going to jump in, it's not even whether you want to or not, uh, it's, it's not even a mild criticism, as, as I've encountered, because I've seen now myself called strident and all the words I've, I've seen applied to Richard. And it's not even a criticism. If you just question, it, that's even amazing. If you just ask a question, but could it be that this didn't happen? Again, it's it taken as a... That it sounds threatening. Okay, yeah. but you're not questioning whether or not the Blue Jays are going to win the World Series this year. You're questioning the very foundational exactly. beliefs of exactly. millions still, of people over thousands of years. It's but still it's still only, only a question. question. It's still and, only a question. And you know okay. what? The, and, and I think it's very telling that people react defensively. Because, for example, if I questioned you about your taxes, you'd, you'd act defensively if you would lie on them <laughs> or if you were worried about the truth of them. I think people react so defensively about religion for the same reason that they have to go to church every Sunday. They have to be reminded. It has to be reinforced because it's so damn silly.